If you've seen our video about the A380 we made earlier, you'll know that they stopped making the A380. One of the first reasons that they stopped making it is the cost of operating. But in this video, we want to go to the factory and see how this airplane is made. All the body pieces are hauled to the factory from the main piece to the wings. When you compare the parts next to a truck, they're ginormous. This is one of the wings. These parts are hauled to the main factory. When they're set up correctly, they're put together by order. The employees that work in this factory are very different from your ordinary assembly line because they have to be master technicians or engineer because it's not that easy to work on an airplane like this. This is the small tail wing that goes on the back, but it's not very small compared to other things. In this factory, they put everything together and they only paint one section, and that's the tailpiece. After the body panels are finished and connected, and the tailpiece is painted, they haul it to the next warehouse, and that's for the jet engines. Four jet engines has to be equipped to the A380. Airbus used two different engines on their plane. The first one was the Rolls-Royce Trent 900. The second one was an alliance between General Electric and Pratt & Whitney called the GP7200. When the engines are equipped, they go for testing. Right now, the airplane is able to fly, but the interior is completely empty and only the cockpit is working. This particular A380 is being built for Qatar Airways and it has to be painted to their specs. After testing the airplane, it enters the paint room, or should I say the painting booth. This metal rod you're seeing that's coming down from the plane is to adjust the plane perfectly in the paint booth. After it is set down correctly, they start the process of painting it. They first cover the areas they don't want paint on, including the rear tail that's already painted. They use 3,600 liters of paint to paint an A380. Each liter weighs about one and a half kilogram. So if you calculate it, the paint alone weighs five and a half tons. The blue sheets you're seeing being peeled is for the design of the logos. And before they start painting it, they have to cover it up. We could say 99% of passenger aircrafts are painted white. The main reason for that is it reflects heat 
and it doesn't let the cockpit get too hot. Another reason is that you could see it much easier than any other color. The A380 is painted, but the interior is completely empty. And that's when it enters another warehouse that's only for interiors. The A380 is not a small airplane, and that is why in this huge area, there has to be a lot of stuff fitted. They first start with the insulation and the wall pieces. Then we have the stairway to the second story. We have the luggage spaces that's fitted in the middle. In an A380, you could fit 853 people, but that's in a way the seats are laid out in economy fashion. But most people that ordered the A380 want a huge business and first class section. So it's gonna be much less people than 853. And when they do that, most of the space is taken up by first class and business class. Most airliners that ordered the A380 wanted not only the first class, but a suite with it as well. And that's basically a private room for the flyer. This is the first class station on an A380 made for Qatar Airways. The biggest passenger aircraft is ready but unfortunately 
The A380 is not made anymore, but the ones that were built are going to be flying for a very long time. When the A380 was being built, it had an average price of $450 million, but that's not counting the luxurious first class and suite sections. That added much more to the price. The A380 is mostly used in long distance trips because it's too expensive to go a short distance. And that is why if you want to fly from Doha to New York, the first class ticket will cost about twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars and the difference in price is because of the seasons. 